Hi there, thanks for joining. I'm um, going to make this a quick one because uh, I've burnt a little bit of time trying to get my composition set up tonight. So really this is just uh, wanting to do a quick compare, not a review, but a compare of the Sigma 20mm f1.4 I have been using for my astrophotography and I've just got myself the new Sony 20mm f1.8 which um, for more reports has better star shape corner to corner uh, although not quite as fast a, a lens so tonight just going to be taking a uh, composition of the Milky Way with a, a, some rock foreground here over a lake uh, and going to be taking both lenses wide open uh, going to be uh, doing a bit of a comparison uh, with the same settings I'll be using um, apart from f-stop obviously so a little bit of comparison of the two lenses Back on my PC with the images loaded up from each lens, I created a basic composition uh, consisting of a four minute uh, exposure for the foreground at f4 or ISO 800. And for the background for the sky, I uh, had a, the lenses wide open, 20 second exposure uh, ISO 3200. Now um, I'll show the images now that came out. Uh, I'll let you guess uh, which one's which. I won't label them. See what you think. be doing really well if you're able to tell from that short glimpse which lens was used to take which image. So let's take a closer look. I'll lay one image over the top of the other and I'll swipe left to right to reveal the underneath image. It's still really probably pretty hard to tell so let's zoom up into the corners and we'll start to see where the advantage of the Sony even though being a slower lens uh, comes into play we can start to see here that the Sigma has really bad coma up into the corners where while the Sony not perfect is miles ahead and honestly there's not too many wide angle lenses that come close. So I uh, finished my um, my image tests uh, for tonight. I'm not going to know what they look like until we get back into the get them back onto the computer. But um, they both performed really well. I've been really impressed with the Sony so far. Um, Sigma's shortcomings, obviously, are that it has quite bad coma, and it's it's an extremely sharp lens, especially centre. Um, center of uh, the field it's extremely sharp but over in the corners the coma on the stars is quite horrendous it doesn't particularly improve as, as you stop down um, and it is large it is a very large lens uh, but for daytime uh, landscape i'd say it's still a very good choice uh, it's, as i said it's extremely sharp it resolves an enormous amount of detail um, but I think it's going to be the Sony for me, um, which is lucky because I've bought it. So, yeah, we'll, uh, s we're going to sit around here, uh, take some more shots, get the slider out, I think. Um, Milky Way has just risen over in the east. It is terribly cold. I'd say it's probably two or three degrees Celsius. So uh, I'm going to keep myself moving around, try and keep myself warm. Thank you. 